Then here is the positive side. Every new discipline affects your all disciplines. If you will get some new things going, give me a call. Make some calls. You have never made me fall. Step up your activity levels. Step up your labor level. Develop the skills for these two days and go home, work on it and apply some miracles on your days, on your life, on your income, on your years, on your business. Go for the disciplines, the smaller disciplines the least of the disciplines. We asked you to come here for a couple of days and stay for a while. Do some learning. Take it back home. Develop your own personal philosophy. Here philosophy means how your life works out. Each person's life philosophy is the set of a sail. The same wind blows on us on the sail everywhere. The difference is where we reach at, at the end of the week, at the end of the month and at the end of the year. Is not the wind that blows. The wind is blowing all over the world. The world is in solution. The things are changing. What is going to make the major differences? Each person's personal philosophy that sets a better sail. So don't ask for the favorable wind to blow around you. That's like wishing something that is not occurring. Don't ask for better soil and better seeds. All you got is what is available with you, all the resources, whatever economy we have got. We have got the same economy. We cannot change it. We can try, but we cannot change it. So we have to keep in mind all the resources available to us and we have to move accordingly. And we have to manage it as per our requirements. Don't curse whatever is available to you say subhanallah on this planet all we got is the seed the soil the opportunities the economy the society the seasons that we have got we have four seasons and that's it that's all we have and we should proud of it and we should say thanks to Almighty who has given us these all opportunities the government which we have the marketplace which we have the opportunities which we have so this is all this is all we have got the key is to settle your future better whatever opportunities you have you should grab it and try to choose the best one for you don't wish for the easier wish for the better don't wish for less problems. Wish for better skills to solve whatever problems you have. I am asking you to develop your personal skills, to develop your personal philosophy, to tackle all the problems, whatever you will face in future. Get your business philosophy, get your financial philosophy. Don't violate the conclusion of your philosophy. Try to tackle them. Don't violate the conclusion of your philosophy by not executing whatever plans you have. Take the actions to solve your problems. When you are here for a couple of days, so take the ideas and opportunities and then follow and apply in your life to get the best of it but that is number two get smart here is number three get going they are truly as Larry mentioned to put the seeds in the soil to become a plant so go home 
take the new page flip off the old page and start your new life start your new journey you have got to kept going you have got to take actions to change your life the disciplines is the miracle process and here is how your life the miracle of your life get going and here is how to get miracle and here is how to get the miracle of your future going as far as disciplines are concerned the number one is do whatever you can do you might go home and make a new chapter flip the old page and start your journey from the beginning we call it cleaning up neglect should walk around the block could walk around the block to set a new page should walk around the block could walk around the block for your good health don't walk around the block see you are on the wrong track should read could read don't read see you are on the wrong track should call could call don't call on the wrong track should change could change don't change see you are on the wrong track somebody you should sit with him and discuss the matter go home and get the job done don't let neglect destroy your days destroy your life destroy your future go back and do whatever you can and if you will do whatever you can the life will give you the extraordinary chances you have to take care of the small disciplines and the life will give you chances the life will give you chances to tackle the more hard and bigger disciplines so take care on the small disciplines on the small decisions you start first with the smaller disciplines and don't neglect it and do not destroy and do not disregard and do not disregard the smaller disciplines as in every matter pride matters prideful matter prideful in everything matters because all disciplines affect each other smaller disciplines can affect the bigger disciplines so that is why take care and don't disregard the smaller disciplines in fact here is a very good philosophical phrase if you had not thought of it here it is if you had not thought of it before here it is now everything affects everything else it is so easy to be casual and say it doesn't matter but actually it does matter of course something matters than other things but everything matters because there is not anything that doesn't matter